I wish you a very happy Memorial Day weekend. I pray that you have God with you so strong that it is an abiding comfort and a sustaining comfort that stays with you beyond this holiday. I pray that your awareness of God's presence is increased, and I pray that it is specially increased as you visit the cemetery of loved ones and friends. I pray that you realize that God is with you, and that God is also with your loved ones and friends that have passed on. This holiday all began in 1868. It was to honor Union soldiers that had given their life during the Civil War. After World War I, what they called the Great War, well, it was increased and expanded to honor all those that had given their lives in service to our nation in war. In 1971, well, it took the present form that it is now of a three-day holiday. Well, many Americans will be spending this holiday grilling. They'll be spending it with family, and that is good. And then they're also going to spend it the way my family always spent it, and that was going to the cemetery to remember. And you know, my friend, it's good to have one day where we look back, where we focus on the good that has been in our lives. My family was in the funeral business, and if there's one thing I know, it is that funerals are for the living, not for the dead. Well, it is good to have funerals because it's good to have a time of focus. It helps our grieving process. But as we visit the cemeteries, realize that that is for us more than for them. Because, my friend, they are not there. We visit the grave of the body. But what happens at the time of death is the soul, and that is what we really love, not the outer form, it lifts out of the body that can no longer serve its purpose. It's like I'm wearing this coat right now. I'm giving it life. I'm giving it movement. If I take it off, and lay it on a table, it will appear lifeless. But to go to that table and to cry over the coat that appears lifeless is missing the whole story. And the whole story is that my soul continues to live. And so do our loved ones. They continue it has been said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. And what better way on Memorial Day to honor those that we have shared our life experience with, to smile and to remember. No matter whether we're doing this at home or at the cemetery, let us do this in the realization of God and God's truth and the truth of continuing life. God bless you. Happy Memorial Day.